Okay, so in this video, I want to try to address your question that you submitted through the YouTube tutorial on the roofs. So what I want to look at here, because I believe I have a clue what you might have done. In the initial project that we did, if I look at my elevation view, you'll see I only, let me zoom in a little bit here, but you'll see I only had a level one and a roof level. So there was actually nothing below the level one roof. So anytime that I come back to my level one and select to use my roof by footprint tool, you'll see I'm getting a lowest level notice um, that Revit is assuming what level I'd like to put my roof at and I can designate a different level here. If you actually add, I'm gonna come back to my elevation view, let me escape out of this command just to show you what you might have made the mistake at. I'm going to select and I'm actually going to add another level. Below that level one that we were using. And I'm just going to click on this really quickly and just rename it basement, for example. Okay. And we'll rename the corresponding level. But now when I come back to level one and use my roof by footprint tool here, you'll see that this may be in fact what you had. If you started from a template that had some sort of level below level one, you see I no longer got that menu that asked for the lowest level notice that I was able to designate and change it from that menu. So if you're at this point, what I would say go ahead and do is just lay out the roof. So from here I'm actually gonna zoom in and you know what I should do because we already had a roof on these first four boxes from the tutorial. Let's give ourselves one more box that we can use, utilize for this. And I'm going to put this box just out here. Now let's use this to put a roof on. So back to my roof by footprint. And I'll select here. And we'll complete the sketch for our roof once again. I want to tell you, you have two options here. If I click OK without changing the base level, you're going to see this roof is going to sit at level one. So let's go ahead and do that. And when we click back on that 3D view, here we are. You actually see my roof is right here at the ground floor. So that's sitting on level one. And I believe that's what you have here. But if I go back to my first floor plan and let's hit edit roof. First thing I actually want to do is let's Let's select each one of these. I'm just holding down control to select my lines. And we're going to define a roof slope and we're going to leave that 10, 12. So now that I've, I'll just be able to see it better in the 3D view eventually. But what I want to do here, while nothing's selected here, if we just change this base level to roof for this foot, for this footprint sketch that we're generating right now, and click OK, when I come back to my 3D view now, you'll see Revit actually just moves the roof up. So we generated it at the level one and we weren't aware that it was gonna place the roof, but realize as the name of the program tells us, you know, revise it, you constantly have the option. So I can select any roof here that I want to. And since this roof is still selected, even from my 3D view, I can move this back down to level one or the basement and vice versa if I generated it at the wrong level. It's not an issue to just come back and move that back and forth in place. So I hope this answers your question and I hope that you'll continue to watch the Smart Architect YouTube videos here and continue to submit your questions if you have any. Thanks a lot for watching.